Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and I have missed YouTube. I really have and I've sat down and made a couple videos but then I, I get them to be way too personal and I say way too much stuff that's mm, could probably get me in a lot of trouble and make certain people in my family not like me too much. So I have to refrain for now, but I'm sure I'll be spilling the tea later. So what did I, what have I been up to? Well, my grandma's been really sick and in the hospital. So I've been over there visiting, um, working and trying not to go too crazy. I've been extremely emotional, um, for like the past, I don't know, week or so. And you know how that goes. My acne is starting to go away again, finally. I swear, after like those um, thyroid uptake, that thyroid uptake, radioactive iodine, I swear to God, it just made me break out. There's still no clue if that's like a side effect or not, but whatever. So with my deductible being pretty much maxed out, I decided to do something for myself. I got a boob job. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, that's not covered. I looked. Not that I need it, but, you know, I just thought, hey, you know, what, what can I get? So I've been making every single kind of appointment that I could possibly want, right? Because I want to take full advantage of this medical um, coverage being pretty much free so I just want to take full advantage of it so I decided to finally do an allergy test to see exactly what I'm allergic to now I didn't do like a oh you're allergic to amoxicillin or like any kind of drugs like that but I did want to see if I was allergic to certain environmental and certain foods and I've been noticing as I've gotten older Certain foods like almonds, peaches, kiwis, cherries, my throat gets extremely irritated. Some soy things make my throat irritated. And I figured it was probably like an oral allergy um, issue. But you know what? I got insurance. It's maxed out. I'm going to go and take that fancy test that my mom always said was too expensive and I couldn't have. So now that I'm older and I'm an adult, I did it. And this is what I found. I found that out that I'm allergic to grass, which I kind of already figured because I get itchy. Weeds, like the garden kind. <laughs> the fall and spring and summer weeds or whatever. Birch trees, oak trees. Um, dogs and cats, which I have two dogs, so I guess the dogs got to go. No, they're not going. I don't care. I don't care if I was deathly allergic to my dogs. They're staying like, you know, maybe I'll have to reevaluate and see if I want them to sleep with me all the time. But I wash my sheets like two or three times a week. So I feel like that's probably pretty good. Whatever. No big deal. But definitely cats. They said you're definitely, definitely, definitely allergic to kitties. So no kitty cats for me. But they're so cute. Anyway, um... What else? I'm allergic to dust. Surprisingly, not mold or mildew, which I like to do a retest. I swear to God, I'm allergic to it because mildew makes my throat go. I swear. I swear it does. I hate mildew. I hate that smell. It, it's, you know, it irritates me, but whatever. It's not what the test came back. So whatever. Um, just go with the test. So the birch tree thing is really interesting. If you have, I'm going to just pull it up on my computer real quick so that way I don't say anything extremely too incorrect here. I got three screens, three monitors. So let's see. Birch tree oral allergy. Okay, oral allergies occur... Up to 40% of all hay fever sufferers who are allergic to silver birch tree pollen. Um, let's see. Okay, let me just click this. But it says, um, 
My internet is slow. What the heck? Okay, here we go. So foods with um, with this type of pollen include apples, hazelnut, plums, that's me, wheat, hmm. peaches, walnuts, nectarines, potato, oh no, honey, I love honey, onions, oh no, parsnips, which I don't even really know what that is. Cherries, yeah, pears, yeah, tomatoes, not so much. Celery, not so much. Peanut butter, not so much. Um, spinach, kiwi, which is big time. Um, other fruits, melons, mangoes, spinach, tomatoes, sunflower, apricots. Huh, but this doesn't say anything about almonds. She told me also almonds, too. Um Uh, but I she said something else like I'm allergic to that also causes the almonds so who knows I just tried doing a quick google search and I don't want to take it all day because you know that was one thing so whatever just go down the rabbit hole so basically what an oral allergy how she explained it to me is no you don't need like an epi an epi pen you're not going to have life-threatening issues but basically if you have the the raw form of it the natural raw form you're you're going to have a reaction where your mouth feels kind of prickly and tingly and it's irritated and that's very true sometimes even like my throat gets a little irritated um kind of bumpy kind of like it's like itchy very uncomfortable but they said if you cook certain foods or you you put an apple in an apple pie, you should be fine. But I can tell you from experience, even if like an apple is like cooked or whatever, I still have that oral allergy symptoms. So maybe it's just certain fruits that do it for me. Maybe it's not, but whatever it is, what it is, I'm just going to stay away from some of that. They also said I'm pretty allergic to garbanzo beans and soy, which, um, well, garbanzo, not soy, garbanzo beans and like pinto beans, like refried beans and stuff, which is funny because I'm half Mexican and I eat that stuff all day, every day. If I could, I have never had a problem. So it'll be interesting to see if like five years from now, if it like all of a sudden becomes like a big, a bigger deal, which could happen. And it could also do the opposite, I could, could imagine. So one day at a time. But that's, um, my experience with that was pretty good. Um, <laughs> They gave me a person who was in training along with like a seasoned vet, basically. So the girl who was in training, and it's funny, like older people I know sometimes have a problem with like technology and computers where I'm a person that like kind of grew up on them. So if there's like a new work program, I'm always typically the first one to like know how to work it. Oh, yeah, you just click this, click this, backspace, done. Whatever. I don't have a problem with that. Just... You don't need to like explain it. Just kind of show me a couple times and I got you. I'll figure it out and chances are I'll probably find even a shorter cut to do it just because I'm, I'm decent with computers. But this lady, it was very like two fingers on a keyboard. Doot, doot, doot. What are you allergic to? Doot, doot, doot. What vitamins do you take? And it's almost like you don't even want to like tell them that all the vitamins you take because you know it's just going to take so long. She's like, okay, and then do I press save? Do I click? And I'm like, ah. So then um, after we get through that, they had me undress and just like my shirt and my bra. And then I had to put on this very sexy paper. I mean, it was like crap quality paper gown over like my chest. And then they had me lay on my back. And they're like, okay, do you have any questions? I'm like, no, just like, you know, stab it away. So the girl goes, do I take this? And I'm like, oh, so of course I'm that person. I'm like, oh, no. So the new girl's doing it. And they laugh. I'm like, oh, no. She's like, well, she's in training. And trust me, she's she's going to be good. And I'm like, oh, no. So I'm like the guinea pig, huh? So you're going to like bill this for half off, right? So then um, I think maybe she did like the first two, but then the other girl took over. <sighs> I hate being the guinea pig. Like, I know we all need to learn, but, oh, she made me nervous. Like, okay, is this what I used? And what it felt like is like a bunch of pencils together where they like, 
you know, stab you with him. <laughs> I didn't actually get to see it, but that's how it felt. The shoulders didn't hurt. It just kind of felt like someone scratched you. And then when they were getting lower and lower on my back, that's when it was more uncomfortable. I wouldn't say it hurt, but it just didn't feel very nice. Um, so that was my experience. And then um, they're like, oh, you're allergic to like dust mites and dust or whatever. And like being a I, I notice everything about people. I can, I'll notice if you're missing how many teeth in your mouth, I'll miss. <laughs> I'm, I'm very much focused on mouths. I can, um, I'll notice if one of your nail, like your toenails aren't painted and all the other ones are, or I just notice small things that maybe some people don't. Um, I'll notice if, you know, I, I just look up and down on people and I'll like, oh, that person has a lot of track marks on their arm or whatever. I just, I notice those things. So, of course, I'm that person that when I go into a restaurant or anywhere I go, I look at your blinds. I see how dusty they are. I look at your vents. I see how dusty they are. I look at your ceiling fans, see how dusty they are. And I do that at people's houses too. So maybe that's why I'm not invited over to a lot of people's houses. But anyways, I was at the, at the doctor and she had me laid down and the bed was right next to the blinds. And I'm like, oh, you said that uh, I was allergic to dust, right? She's like, yeah. I'm like, well, you do know your blinds are super dusty, right? And she looked at me like, oh, that's embarrassing or, oh my gosh, this biatch or whatever. But, ugh, you're a doctor's office. Like, people are allergic to that. Like, you have a big ass sign that says no food here. Don't bring food in from outside and made me drink my coffee real fast so we could throw it away. But your blinds are dusty. More people are probably allergic to dust than, you know, soy. Come on. So whatever, just saying. Clean your blinds, doctor's offices. But that's all for now, you guys. Um, I do have really no updates. I go Friday to the endo to see what's up with this thyroid. And God, that's such an ugly word, thyroid, thyroid. And that's pretty much it. Um. I'll see you guys next time, and I'm on my way to the hospital for my grandma. Bye, guys. Uh, okay, I said goodbye now. Bye.